Now, the next paragraph again two questions are given based on it. Let us consider the paragraph first. There are five students in a music class and for them there are five seats reserved. Where initially the seat R i is allotted to the student S i means R 1 for S 1, R 2 for S 2 and so on. But on the examination day the five students are randomly allotted the five seats. Now, look at the questions based on this paragraph. Question number 17 says the probability that on the examination day the student S 1 gets the previously allotted seat R 1 and none of the remaining students gets the seat previously allotted to his or her. Now, when we say only one student gets the seat previously allotted to him or her that means, we are talking about derangement for rest of the students. Total that is sample space we simply get factorial 5 or it is 120. R 1 for S 1 rest 4 has to be deranged meaning that number of elements favoring the events this is simply 4 factorial multiplied with 1 minus 1 upon 1 factorial plus 1 upon 2 factorial minus 1 upon 3 factorial plus 1 upon 4 factorial which gives you simply 9. So, there are 9 cases favoring this event hence the required probability of this event is 9 upon 120 or simply 3 upon 40. So, looking at the given options we can see option A is the correct answer. So, this is clear now move to the next question that is question number 18 which is also based on the same paragraph. Okay, moving to question number 18 that is the last question of paper 1 based on the same paragraph which had the same question number 17 as well. This question number 18 says for i equals 1, 2, 3, 4 and t i denote the event that the students s i and s i plus 1 do not sit adjacent to each other on the day of examination then the probability of event T 1 intersection T 2 intersection T 3 intersection T 4 is. So, here we have to consider the cases we have to make the analysis of all possible cases. It says say for example, S 1 sits here next to S 1 S 2 is not possible when we are taking T 1 intersection T 2 intersection T 3 intersection T 4 events meaning after S 1 possibility is for S 3 or for S 4 or for S 5. With S 3 next S 2 and S 4 not possible, so clearly it will give you S 5. With S 5 S 4 is not possible, so next would be S 2 and the next is S 4. With S 4 S 3 and S 5 not possible, so simply S 2. With S 2 S 3 and S 4 not possible, so simply S 5 and last S 3. With S 5 S 4 not possible, so 2 or 3 anything can come. With S 2 3 and 1 not possible meaning only possibility is for S 4 but with S 4 we get the next remaining term S 3 meaning this entire thing is not possible. Similarly, when we go for S 3 we are left with 2 and 4 and both not possible with it. So, again the case is cancelled. So, we observe just two possibilities with starting with S 1. So, we have to count every such possible case manually starting with S 1 with this tree we get 2 starting with S 2 with a similar tree we get 3, with S 3 we get 4, with S 4 we get 3 and with S 5 starting we get 2. So, total favorable cases we get 2 plus 3 plus 1 
total number of cases 120 as said earlier in the last question as well. Hence, we get the required probability is equal to 14 by 120 or 7 upon 60. So, let us look at the given options of the question. We see that option C is the correct one. So, just mark it as the correct answer is option C. So, this is all about the paper 1 of JE Advanced 2018 mathematics paper which was conducted on May 20 in online mode. Thank you.